Hey guys, welcome back. So as you know from my Instagram, I've been working on a large Post Malone portrait and I thought I'd film a little time lapse of its progress. As you can see right now I'm working on his hand and I'll go in later with an X-Acto knife, cut it all out, and then add it to my painting. So I said in my last video how I like to use an outline that's just very simple and doesn't have a lot of shading and then I go in later with dots and I add all of the shading that I need. So that's why my outline is just very simple, very light, so that I can easily erase it later. I'm using a reference image by Adam DeGrasse, and if you're a Post Malone fan, then I'm sure you're familiar with Adam. He takes lots of really, really cool pictures of Post Malone. So if you're wanting to make any post art, um, I would definitely recommend going through Adam's Instagram. That's where I found this really, really cool reference image. So now you can see I'm kind of starting to go into the tattoos. I got his first finger down. I'm starting on these faces. And what I'm doing is I'm trying not to focus on the fact that they are faces. I'm just breaking it down into smaller shapes and trying to replicate those shapes as close as possible. So I was tempted to go in and find um, a better image for these tattoos so that I could really tell how these tattoos look, but I kept myself from doing that because I want it to be as grainy and as blurry as the reference image, just so it looks realistic. I don't want to add too much detail because there isn't that much detail in the reference image. So I started going into the barbed wire, but then I realized it looks kind of funny leaving this picture as it is with just one finger. So I, I wanted to start on the second finger as soon as possible so that it's more clear what I'm drawing. Uh, so you can see me doing that here. I'm going in and drawing the finger creases first because that's the darkest part. And then I'll work my way up from there. So here's me working on another tattoo, a letter this time, and I did the same thing. I didn't look for a better reference image, I just drew it exactly how it looks in this picture. Okay, I'll stop talking for a minute and just let you watch the time lapse. So you can see me switching up how I'm holding the pen. Um, this is not how I usually hold the pen. I'm just trying to make it so that the camera can actually catch me drawing instead of just the top of my hand. But I had such a bad hand cramp at this point, you can kind of see me switch back to my old ways. And here's the second face tattoo. I liked how this one turned out more. I think I went back and added more to the first face that I tried to draw. I just, it, it didn't look quite right. It needed more. But this one, I kind of like how this one turned out. And I think that's a Mickey Mouse band-aid that's on his finger. Again, I didn't look it up. I just kind of drew the shapes as they appear in the image, but from what I can tell, that's a Mickey Mouse band-aid, <laughs> and I had to include that. This is the least fun part of the whole drawing because it's just black. It's just this big dark area that I have to fill in, but 
that's why I'm playing this back at 5,000% speed. <laughs> I was tempted to go in and just paint this black later, but that would have been a little lazy because it's not solid black in the reference image. You can see his vest or, yeah, I think that's a vest. That's solid black. So I decided just to, you know, suck it up, go through all of these dots to make it a very, very dark gray. And you can see later in my painting, there are areas that are solid black and that's mostly in his beard and his vest. Um, his eyebrows. And you can see my drawing cuts off at the shirt, and that's because I want to paint the shirt later on top. I changed the color of his shirt. It's white in the picture, and I think I'd, I'm choosing a light pink in my painting, and so that'll just be painted on top. Right now, I'm just going in and drawing the actual hand, because all of the skin parts of his drawing, I think his ear, his face, his hand, that's drawn in dots, and then the rest of my painting is painted. And then I'll add more dots on top of different areas, like his, um, his clothing, his hat, but I wanted the skin to kind of stand out. So I chose this paper that's charcoal paper and it has this, this texture to it that's really, really cool. And I'm really liking how it's standing out in the painting. All right, so we're getting there. Third finger is almost done. I decided not to draw the pinky because it would just be cut off in my painting. The way I have it formatted, it would be useless to draw it. I know it was tempting to draw it just to have it in this video, but I decided not to do it because I just have to cut it off anyway. And then I'm later going to paint a Bud Light can in his hand, of course. I gotta switch it out for a Bud Light can. So I've just about wrapped this up. Um, I'm really excited to get this thing finished. I'm in the process of moving right now, so I don't know if I'll finish it in my old art studio, the one I'm in right now, or my new studio. So I plan to do a studio tour. I'll do like a, a little studio vlog or something, and I'll probably finish up the painting there. So you can get updates on my Instagram, emmat underscore art, and I'll see you guys next time.